welcome dear student once again my first year hsc first year student how are you all of you hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah uh, though the time is very crucial we are having an unusual time everything is just uh, uh, we are facing abnormal things uh, we didn't face such type of abnormality in the whole of our life uh, it is the uh, i i would rather say that it is the wish of the almighty maybe it is an exam for us uh, how we we'll, we will handle it so dear student this is zubaida nurkan in front of you with my uh, digital class presentation i am assistant professor in english kumila victoria government college today i would like to deal with uh, unit 3 and this unit 3 uh, its name is dreams and it has uh, three lessons uh, today my uh, concern is to have a session uh, on lesson 2 unit 3 lesson 2 and uh, the this lesson uh, deals with uh, two dream poems all of you know about dreams dreams means that the thing which we actually uh, visualize uh, during our uh, sleep uh, maybe it is at night uh, it could be by day also uh, sometimes uh, the dream uh, doesn't mean that uh, you will see it while you are uh, just uh, having your eyes closed it may happen that uh, uh, while you are awake you can have dream uh, so uh, very often uh, you may uh, have been asked uh, by this question with your uh, some uh, uh, known persons that what's your dream of your life uh, somebody says that oh i would like to uh, be a uh, doctor i would like to be an engineer i would like to be a an uh, army officer i would like to be an entrepreneur i would like to be uh, 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 various types of things uh, okay uh, we have we are different types of persons so our dreams our um, aims of life uh, also differs from each other so dear student um, uh, for dreams uh, i would like to before going to the uh, lesson i would like to just read uh, some of uh, the things uh, for you uh, if you go to your uh, book you will find these things in um, you will find uh, that these things matched with my uh, just a scene that is william Wordsworth, uh, who was born uh, um, english poet in 1770 and died in 1850 he was a great romantic poet okay dear student and he considered poets dreamers he thought that poets are dreamers because they have the ability to turn our wish our power our thought into a deed poets give voice to what we desire what we desire poets just express it through their writing and strive hard to achieve and uh, after reading the poems of the poets uh, we feel enthusiastic we are uh, instigated we are inspired we are steered to achieve our to uh, struggle hard and to achieve the uh, desire to achieve the goal to achieve the wish uh, they write about the dreams of lovers men of action patriots social reformers workers and just about anyone given to imagining a better tomorrow for themselves and for others that means that the poet writes about the dreams of maybe a lover maybe a man of action maybe a patriot maybe a of a social reformer maybe a uh, uh, maybe the dreams of workers and uh, through his writing he would uh, a poet uh, like to change the society change the nation change the country change our thought change our uh, idea so dear student uh, here in this uh, lesson that is lesson two we will find two uh, poems uh, one is by uh, dh lawrence and another one is by langston hooks okay dh uh, lawrence is and uh, here uh, the poem dh lawrence dreams dh lawrence he was an english novelist poet and 
assist okay first of all i would like to read the poem for you dear student before uh, just reading the poem uh, for you i would like to inform you that is the uh, from the poems you you will have a, a, a question such type of theme writing and this theme writing also i will discuss later on in my next slide so hope you are having full attention in my lecture and you will enjoy and uh, you will just understand everything and uh, following my lecture you will just prepare yourself uh, for the for the exams uh, uh, which is going to uh, be held uh, most probably in the month of uh, january after as soon as the vacation is over and you know that there is a winter vacation uh, from uh, uh, december 16 and it will uh, continue from uh, up to december 31st december so uh, our um, scheduled class will resume from january 1 and hopefully uh, the your first term exam will be uh, uh, taken place very soon okay um uh, so the poem I, I would like to read all people dream but not equally those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the morning to find that it was vanity but the dreamers of the day are dangerous people for they dream their dreams with open eyes and make them come true so dear student have you understood what the poet just uh, liked to just convey he said that all people dream every people has dream you have dream i have dream donald trump has dream our prime minister uh, prime minister honorable prime minister sheikh hasina she has lots of dream about uh, the welfare of the country and uh, we found that uh, recently her one of the dreams uh, um uh, came true uh because the last span of uh, the padma breeze has been installed okay uh, so uh, through these uh, uh, she dreamt to uh, just uh, connect the capital with the southern region uh, through this uh, Padma breeze because uh, uh, when they're uh, uh, now the people have to just uh, uh, commute uh, uh, from Dhaka to the southern region just uh, having lots of sufferings uh, but as soon as the Padma breeze uh, uh, will start operating uh, uh, then the uh, passengers uh, uh, passengers uh, hardship difficulties of going from Dhaka to southern region from southern to Dhaka region will be lessened so it's a great dream it's a huge dream and we know that uh, uh, uh when uh sheikh hasina uh, just dreamt uh, when she shared her dream with the country people everybody uh, was astonished and everybody thought that uh, it would not be possible for um, bangladesh to just uh, have a breeze on the <clears throat> mighty river padma but she is such a dreamer that uh, she just uh, proved that she has the capability to make uh, all her dreams uh, come true so dear student all people dream but not equally so you have dream i have dream your parents had dream parents still now have dream your grandparents had dream and uh, your younger brothers sisters your friends everybody um, have dream but not equally but our dreams are not same to same to each other okay those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind when we just uh, dream uh, during our sleeping at night we wake in the morning and uh, to find that it was vanity and we find that oh what we uh, saw during our sleeping it is just empty it is of nothing but the dreamers of the day are dangerous people but uh, the people who dreams uh, uh, during the day they are dangerous people because they dream their dreams with open eyes because uh, they consciously dream uh, they consciously just uh, wish for something desire for something that which is uh, refer, uh, which is just uh, uh, which can be called as dream and make them come true and they are uh, so serious uh, uh, that uh, when uh, the dream they dream uh, during their 
uh, awaking period uh, time uh, they try heart and soul to make uh, such a dream come true it's uh, uh, so they are very uh, dangerous people and they are uh, totally uh, different from the people uh, who dreams uh, during uh, night okay so this is the poem i i hope you i could just make it clear to you now here uh, in this uh, poem we find uh, one word which could be um, uh, unusual to you or unknown to you uh, so i thought that i would just uh, discuss this word and i would give a synonym for this word and its parts of speech too and its application as well so there is uh, the word recess its synonym is vacation its synonym is adjournment it's a noun what is it it's a noun so I just uh, uh, gave one uh, sentence uh, uh, just uh, uh, applying this uh, using this word in this sentence we are planning to spend our back vacation at our village home okay and there is another word we found that is vanity vanity means nothingness pride boast okay zero that means uh, uh, empty and synonym is haftiness also and uh, one sentence for you using this word that is don't boast of your wealth don't be so proud of your wealth all right my loving student uh, you know that in, in your english first paper uh, you will have have 1 to 11 1 to 11 question your first uh, uh, question you know about uh, one passage will be given to you uh, from the main book and after reading the passage you will have to write multiple choice and then uh, you will have to write uh, um, a question answer and then again you will have another uh, another passage from your main book and from the main book uh, from that passage after reading the passage you will have to write down the flow chart then number three you will have to summarize uh, the passage from your main book okay uh, one passage will be given and you will have to write down summary number four and number five uh, fill in the gap with clue and without clue number six uh, is uh, uh, rearranging ten sentences will be given in a uh, um, uh, uh, in a jumbled way and you will have to keep the uh, sentences in an ordered way this is uh, from part one and part two writing test uh, 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 60, 40 marks uh, your first uh, thing you will have to write that is a uh, paragraph you will have to write down one paragraph uh, the number is 10 and then a uh, story uh, writing you will have been you will uh, you will be given one clue uh, some clues two three four sentences and you will have to just uh, continuing uh, continue the sentence to uh, just give a uh, 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 give a uh, just a, a good ending uh, story and the uh, its marks is uh, uh, seven and then there will be graph uh, chart writing uh, it also takes a uh, um, uh, sorry before that you will have to write an email marks is five then graphs and chart um, uh, elaboration uh, that is uh, number 10 and finally you will have uh, one question that is write down the theme of the following poem not more than 50 words you will have to write down the theme of a given poem uh, it may be from your main book uh, or may not be and you will have to write uh, within 50 words and the uh, marks is 8 what is theme like my loving student the theme is in literature the literature the theme is the underlying message that a writer wants to get across that means after reading uh, the uh, piece of writing you will find that there may be some underlying message from the writer something which is not given uh, explicitly implicitly some idea is given and you will have to find out uh, you know, what is the underlying message a theme is a, a central topic subject or message within a narrative within a narrative there will be a message or a topic or a subject this is called theme so uh, from the uh, my first uh, poem dreams by dh lawrence i just uh, prepared one theme for uh, that poem uh, you better just read it carefully uh, according to the poet the dreams or goals of all people are not the same the dreams of people can be real or unreal the unreal dreams of people are night dreams on the other hand there are people whose dream is practical 
they are the dreamers of the day they are dangerous people because they make their plan for future with the light of consciousness that means consciously they plan and therefore the dream, dream is practical okay so this is the theme another poem that is uh, dreams uh, by langston hawks dear student uh, and uh, he uh, he is an american poet novelist and writer uh, and uh, uh, american poet novelist and playwright and he was born in uh, 1902 and died in 1967 and um, it's a very uh, he uh, wanted to bring changes in the lives of the black people in the 19 20s okay dear student so uh, my lovely student the poem is very very beautiful uh, i can say you will uh, find very interesting that is hold fast to dreams for if dreams are die life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly hold fast to dreams for when dreams go life is a barren field frozen with snow that means hold fast to dreams yeah, the poet says that you must have to be um, very conscious about your dream you must have to uh, dream very consciously and you will have to just hold your dream with a strong hand because if dreams die if you don't if you don't have a dream die uh, sorry dream you are just like a, a bird which wing is broken and that cannot fly the bar uh, you know that when a bird's wing is broken it cannot fly uh, yeah so when you don't have a dream you are just like a uh, that bird uh, that you cannot just uh, uh, move on you cannot just proceed you cannot just uh, go forward you uh, these dreams actually um, uh, insist us actually just uh, uh, um, inspire us uh, uh, just to carry our life uh, to just uh, go forward to move forward okay to go ahead then the poet says that uh, hold fast to dreams uh, hold fast to dreams uh, for when dreams go life is a barren field frozen with snow then the poet says that uh, uh, be very uh, strong uh, and uh, just uh, 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 just set your dream the poet asks us to uh, set our dream because if when uh, there is no dream if dreams go that means if uh, we are just without dream then our life will be just like a barren field that the field barren field means the field where uh, nothing is grown and the uh, 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 our life will be just like that field um, uh, the field which is frozen with snow uh, we know that when a field is frozen with snow nothing can be uh, grown in that field the field is unproductive useless okay so if you don't have dream so your life will be useless your life will be uh, of no use for your family if your life will be of no use for the nation for the uh, for the country so <clears throat> for a good life a dream is the prerequisite dream is the most important life here the poet wanted to just um, uh, give us uh, that reference here while reading uh, the poem we found that uh, uh, some words uh, uh, dreams that means fancy or imagination is a noun i have just uh, made one make made one sentence using the word words have strong power of imagination then another word is barren sterile unproductive fruitless arid bare desolate these are the condition these are the state of a thing so it is adjective nothing can be grown in this barren land okay dear student so you have found the uh, words it's a, a synonym and uh, it's a part of speech as well now uh, my concern is to just give you uh, just discuss about the theme of the poem everybody must have dreams without dream life will be that of a broken winged bird which cannot fly actually this dream is our hope of life without dream our life will be a barren field when our life will be a barren field it will be unproductive and when life is unproductive it is called death according to the poet without dreams our lives will be frozen with snow 
so dear student thank you so much i hope i could make you understand about theme writing i could make you just feel the two poems that i have all uh, also uh, given you the idea of the two poems the dh lawrence and langston hawks so you will just listen to my lecture again and again and read the poem carefully the words the parts of speech and uh, the theme writing also theme writing is a uh, very important uh, marks is also uh, huge marks eight marks so don't be negligent of this uh, item and dear student uh, uh, and uh, as uh, winter is we are now in winter season and there is the possibility of the uh, rise of the uh, coronavirus uh, uh, effect in our life so uh, so you have to be very conscious about your health uh, maintain the uh, social distance uh, follow the health rules our, our prime, prime minister honorable prime minister sheikh hasina she also warned again and again repeatedly she asked us to follow the health rules and uh, uh, please be safe uh, to your life be safe to your uh, family and um, and uh, pray to the almighty so that uh, uh, these cars that means that this pandemic will very soon uh, just remove uh, from our life and we again we uh, so that uh, we will be able to just uh, go back to the normalcy of life uh, as we enjoyed before so thank you thank you so much uh, hope uh, you will be uh, conscious about the health rules and also about uh, the following the lectures and about your studying so thank you thank you so much dear student